Welcome back everybody to another Empyrean Workshop Showcase. Today we are taking a look at the Atlas Carrier 6.0. Today's design is the Atlas Carrier 6.0 Capital Vessel. The design comes to us from creator Superkillin, and this is an unlock level 25 size class 10 Capital Vessel. With a design similar to that of modern day aircraft carriers, the Atlas is a bit of a large but manageable ship if you want to use it for single player. On each side of the ship, there are cargo bay doors with ramps leading into the hover vessel bay area. This is the room where you store your hover vessels and more importantly come to repair your hover and small vessels as they take damage. There is not much room in here for storing hover vessels because this is designed to be more than an aircraft carrier. At the back of the ship you will find a not so typical setup for the repair bay module which is it is set out of the floor where you will back up to it. We also have two generators and a nice little setup as far as the theme of this whole area. Throughout the whole ship, there are numerous signs telling you where everything is, and if we head through this door over here, as you can see, we are heading towards the warp core. In here, we enter into an engineering area where we will find our warp drive, our warp drive fuel tank, as well as some very nice decorations, making it feel very much like an engineering area. On the other side, we have an elevator that leads back to the warp core area, as well as to the upper levels of the ship. The next level up in this elevator is access to the interior hangar bay, and we have a switch that turns on the lights, makes it nice and easy to see in here. Along this back section, we have four advanced constructors and numerous cargo boxes. We also have harvest cargo boxes and offline protection. In the middle of this area, we have a set of cargo bay doors that lead down into the hover bay and repair bay area, and make note to watch out for moving vehicles. From this loading area, we have what looks to be a half runway leading to a front cargo bay door. We also have parking spots and a second cargo bay door, both of which lead outside to the front of the ship and to the front cargo bay launch area. Heading to the other side of the hangar from the elevator, we come here, we have access to the back of the cargo boxes and advanced constructors, as well as some more cargo boxes here that look to be more for an aesthetic use rather than actual cargo storage. Here we have the cargo station, which I guess is for having everybody make arrangements on what cargo gets loaded and unloaded. Here we have our self-help stations with a mech station, oxygen station, shower, and of course some scanners so you don't have to go hunting for the medical bay. We also have a nice set of passenger seats for people waiting to board their ship. And don't forget your armor locker and repair station here. Taking the elevator up to level 3 we come into the crew quarters where we have a nice little lounge area that you can hang out, talk with your friends and look down into the hangar bay on the second level. Through this area we have a couple of bedrooms as well as bathroom shower amenities. We also have access to the science lab because hey, when you're out in an aircraft carrier conquering the galaxy, you might want to do some scientific research. Level 4 brings us up into another lounge, which when you come out and see where you are, you are on the upper flight deck. This makes me think more of an airport terminal where people disembark from their ship, come and check in at the counter, and then get told when they can go to their quarters. Going back through the elevator, we come more into the crew terminal where we have our armor locker and supplies for the crew to go out and fight. Exiting this area comes out to the outside landing area where we have two parking spots for what I would assume be assault craft type vessels. And coming to the top of the elevator, level 5, we come up into the bridge command area where we have our pilot seat and multiple passenger seats spread around the area, as well as access through this back door into what I would say be a balcony, but because we have seen this symbol elsewhere for parking spots and there is no railing, I assume this is for a very tiny small vessel to serve as maybe the captain's escape pod or an escape ship for some of the crew up here. 
Back in the Hover Bay area, we still have a few doors to check out. This one leads us into the Mess Hall, which has a very nice visual look to it. I do love the clean look with the wood and also really like the round shape of the window here. Another aspect I really like is the labeling and separation for the refrigerators with the vegetables, raw food, and canned food marked. Heading up the stairs towards the garden, we come up and find that we have a large amount of grow plots totaling at 54 for the ship. This gives us plenty of food production capabilities in a very nice little compact area. Passing through this door, we come into the armory where we have a large number of ammo boxes as well as access to another advanced constructor so we can of course make more ammo. Taking this elevator at the other end, we come back down to the hover bay repair bay area but we also have access now to our medical bay which has everything you will need to heal yourself if you get injured or get sick. Our last door takes us to the passenger overlook, fuel tanks, Medic bay again, lounge, and oxygen tanks, basically as a way to get through a large section of the ship in this side. Coming into the lounge, we have a very small lounge. This really seems more like a captain's quarters than a lounge to me. And then back here we have our massive number of fuel tanks and generators, as well as our secondary pilot's seat and passenger seat here so you have an alternative cockpit so you don't have to worry about the main one getting blown up we also have another advanced constructor down here marked specifically for being the fuel processor once again this is the atlas carrier 6.0 it is an unlock level 25 size class 10 capital vessel with 13 fuel tanks it can hold over 63,000 fuel giving you about 18 hours of use with the thrusters and rcs turned off Coming with 16 oxygen tanks, it can hold 32,000 oxygen, spread across 13 ventilators, 3 oxygen stations, and you have the 3 medic stations for healing. The Atlas is of course a heavily armed ship. It comes with 6 flat turrets, 6 minigun turrets, 2 drill turrets, 2 artillery turrets, 6 pulse lasers, 4 rocket turrets, 4 rocket launchers, 4 plasma turrets, 6 pulse laser turrets, the eight sentry guns and six cannon turrets. There is also 37 cargo boxes, nine ammo boxes, along with the four fridges, one food processor, and six advanced constructors. As far as resources for building the Atlas, you will need mostly sathium and iron. However, you will need 5,769 arrestrum and zascosium as well, making this definitely a later game vessel. One interesting thing to note here, is that in this page it shows the size class as being 21 rather than 10. Overall I really like the Atlas. From a design standpoint it looks great and from a functional standpoint I think it works well. And again the focus for this is of course on small vessels as being an aircraft carrier style ship. The top flight deck gives you plenty of room to store even the largest prefab small vessels and the interior flight deck is capable of storing up to the prefab tier 5C small vessel. Once again, this is the Atlas Carrier 6.0 and it comes to us from Creator Superkillin. If you want to check this ship out, I will have a link in the description below as always. And of course, if you like the ship, be sure to leave a thumbs up on the workshop page for the creator. Well, that is it for today's video. Be sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed it and make sure you hit subscribe and tick the notification bell if you have not done so already. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about the ship design, what you like, what you don't like, and of course, if there's anything you think could be changed to improve upon it. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. As always, I'm your host, Mr. Spicy. Be sure to keep it spicy this week, and I will see you in the next video.